Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to find percent of a number or quantity using decimal numbers. The basis for all this is to remember this little thing that the word of translates into multiplication. For example, if I have 1% of 90, then I can write this whole thing using multiplication. This of becomes multiplication. And then, any percentage I can change into a fraction or into a decimal. In this lesson, I'm going to use decimals because those are quicker to use when I have a calculator, okay? So, 1% as a decimal is 1 hundredth, 0 0.01. This of is the multiplication. 90 does not change. Now, if I want to calculate this, I can use decimal multiplication, or I could use mental math, thinking of one hundredth part of 90, right? 10%, ten percent, tenth part of 90 would be 9, and then that divided by 10 once again would be 0 0.9, right? So this here equals 0 0.9. If you use decimal multiplication, you would multiply as if there was no decimal point. You would multiply 1 times 90 equals 90. And then you would have to figure that it has to have two decimal digits. Okay, your answer needs to be two decimal digits. Let me show you real quick over here how it goes. In case you've forgotten, I go 1 times 90, 90. Here's two decimal digits. So this needs to have two decimal digits. The point has to go here. And then it can be simplified into 0 0.9. Now, here are some difficult looking numbers. So I want to use my calculator. For that, I will think of this of as multiplication, and this I will change into a decimal. 61%, 61 per cent, 61 over 100, 61 hundredths, right? 0 0.61, 61 hundredths. This does not change. And now the calculator. Okay, 0 0.61 times 4913, and we get 2,996.93. Find 8% of 51,200 meters, which is, of course, 51 kilometers, 200 meters. Now, how would you do that? You want to change this into a decimal, 0 0.08. This, think of it as multiplication. This does not change. Okay? And we get 4,096 meters. So that's easy, isn't it? Over here we're going to do those translations the other way. In other words, I have here some decimal multiplications and we're going to write them as percent of something. This would be the of. And 700 does not change. The decimal 0 0.09 or 9 hundredths is of course 9%. So this is the same as 9% of 700. You can think of it as 9% of 700. Now to calculate it, you could use decimal multiplication in which case you would multiply, as if there was no point here, you would multiply 9 times 700, 6,300. And then put two decimals into it, so you would get 63, right? Or you could figure out that, okay, let's think of 1% of 700 first. 1% of 700 is just 7. And so 9% is 9 times that, 9 times 7. 63. And there's a third way, and that is essentially you're multiplying 9 times 7 here. So go 9 times 7, 63, and then think which one of these makes sense. Is the answer going to be 630, 63, 6300, 6 6.3, you know? If you can figure out which one of those answers is the reasonable answer, then all you need to do is 9 times 7, 
and then think, okay? This time it was 63. 0 0.4 times 50. We're going to translate it back into a percent of something. 0 0.4 as a percentage. It is four tenths, which is the same as 40 hundredths. It is 40%. Okay, 40% 40 of 50. You can think of 10% of 50. Once again, 10% of 50 would be just 5. And 40% is 4 times that. 4 times 5. It is 20. 1.2 times $80. All right, this would be the of. How about 1.2 as a percentage? Now, 1 is 100%. So, 1.2 is 120%. So, 120% of $80. Maybe this is a price and they're going to increase it. So, it's going to be more now. To calculate it, you could go this way. You could just think, well, let's multiply 12 times 8. That's 96. Would that be the reasonable answer? Or $960 or 9.6? Obviously, 96 will be the right answer, a little bit more than $80, okay? Over here, we're surely going to use the calculator again. But let's translate it back into percentage of something. Can you see how? This time, our quantity is here. The decimal 0 0.21 is 21 hundredths, so this is going to be our percentage, 21%. And I can do that because if I multiply numbers, I can always switch the order of multiplication. Now though, when I use my calculator, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use the decimal times the number or vice versa. It is 327.60. In 2008, the world had about 6 billion, 688 million people. Of those, about 20% lived in China. How many people was that? Okay, we basically need to just find 20% of this number. It's a big number. And I'm going to represent it using a variable, a letter, okay? Because it's such a long number to write. So we need to find 20% of, I'm going to use the letter P, population, okay? We need to find 20% of P. And um, I can think of several ways to find this. Can you? Now, one way, as we've been talking in this lesson, is to change this into a decimal, 0 0.2. And this is times, and then comes our number, and then we can use to calculate. Can you think of two other ways? One way would be to first find 10% of that number, and then double that, right? So, to do that, to find 10% of the number, I would divide it by 10. P divided by 10, and then take double that. And then one more way. 20% is a certain easy fraction, right? It is one-fifth, right? And to find one-fifth of this number means dividing it by 5. So yet one more way is to take the number and divide it by 5. Okay? These two are the simplest to use, least amount of punching buttons, so to speak. I'm going to choose this one now and calculate it using the calculator. Okay, we have 6688 divided by 5. And I get 1 billion, 337 million, 600,000. Okay, we're all done with this list.